I actually got signed with IMG and I'm heading to my first photo shoot right now. Hey guys, so today I thought I'd take you guys along because I actually got signed with Oh my. I actually got signed with IMG and I'm heading to my first photo shoot right now and I'm pretty excited but I'm kind of confused because like they told me to bring my own camera and take my own pictures of myself which I don't really get like if it's a photo shoot for an international modeling agency shouldn't they like provide the photographer for like the magazines and stuff I don't know but that's what I'm gonna do I got my camera I've got my tripod and I'm actually taking photos for the World Cup, which I'm super excited about because for all of you that don't know, I'm Polish. And no, I'm not like one of those people that's like 3% this, 5% that. I'm 100% pure blood. So obviously I have to root for Poland and my outfit is fire. Okay, look at this. So obviously I have the Polish soccer jersey on and then I have red pants to match and these fire kicks. So, I'm looking like a snack. Oh, kill him! Okay, I think we're gonna have to pause because there's some people that decided to take the soccer field into their own hands. Like, no one asked you to occupy the soccer field, so. Thanks for ruining my plans. So since they decided to be rude and take the football field, I guess a baseball field will do. I mean, not really, because it's for baseball. You know, I kind of wanted photos like next to a soccer goal, because obviously it's a soccer photo shoot, but clearly I can't have nice things. So I'm gonna try this and maybe go somewhere else for another soccer field. The only problem with this that I was thinking about earlier is like, this is all green and my Instagram, here, I'll put like a video right here. My Instagram is like primarily blue. I like to have like a blue aesthetic, even though I hate that word. Aesthetic is so overused and disgusting, but I like to take cool pictures, so it might be a problem. Okay, but this little area seems neat. It kind of looks like a soccer like hangout for like when you're on the sidelines. So I might take pictures right here and it's blue, so it matches. And there's also all these bleachers, so I could take some photos right there and they're gonna look, whew. Okay, so now enjoy this time lapse of me figuring out all this camera stuff. Now, I know what you all may be thinking, Patrick. How are you taking pictures if you're here by yourself taking them of yourself? Well, I have this fancy remote here and when you click it, when you click it, see, it waits two seconds and then it takes a picture of you, which is pretty fancy stuff. Like, I'm pretty tech savvy. Oh my gosh, all my heads are cut off. See, look at me, professional photographer, literally cutting my head off in every single picture. I'm so good at this. <laughs> Okay, new location. I changed my lens from a bigger one to a smaller one, so hopefully I don't like cut my head off again. I gotta take a break. Okay, so even though I fall in my pictures, I'm still kind of like a mini professional photographer, but I got a drone. Okay, so funny story. One time I was just at this place 
and I found this in the bushes all destroyed and broken. So I was like, ooh, I've never seen a drone before. I might as well take it, even though it's like busted. But I took it and turns out all it needed was like replacement propellers and it works. So I got like a $400 drone for basically the $7 that it cost to replace these. So now I'm gonna use this for some cool drone shots. I've only played around this, this like three times, but let's see what I can do. <laughs> We just got kicked out for literally no reason. I don't know. They're literally just trying to kill my dreams. I'm just a boy with a dream and they won't let me do anything. Oh shoot. The guy who kicked me out is right there and I think he just heard me say that. But anyways, now we're gonna go get a snack. I'm feeling like snow cone, shaved ice type of thing. So yeah. So the snow cone place is closed. Can you believe it? How can they close on a hot summer day? I'm so triggered right now. So now I have to go all the way to another one, which is a lot of work, but I guess I'll do it. I mean, I just really want a snow cone. So the other snow cone place decided to also be closed. You know, it's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. This one, it opens at 12. I got one and a half hours. I'll wait. So, I guess now I just have to wait. So now we're going to the next, like, soccer field type of thing and I'm literally doing the most to get here. All the gates are locked, so I'm going through tennis courts to get through the first set of gates, and then through the football field to get through the second set of gates, and then through the other field to get to the soccer field. Because I really want these pictures to look good. And they're gonna look good, because I look good. You know, you wish you could look like me. I think I might cry. I think the gate's locked. <sighs> what am I supposed to do with my life? Why is my life so hard? So I think people have tried jumping the fence because there's like two conveniently placed big blue thingies. There's one here and one on the other side. So... Okay. I hope no one's watching me do this. Oh, this is tight. Oh, shoot. This is like really tight. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. I made it over, but I left all my bags. Oh, shoot. Thank goodness I have my assistant from IMG themselves because I'm a model for them now, so I get all the perks. Look at that. Man, this feels good. I literally went through all this hard work just for this puny little soccer goal because I thought it was only fitting to have soccer pictures with the soccer goal and that's all I wanted. And I went to three schools and all the fields are either taken by other people or closed. So now I'm at this one and there's this sad little goal in the middle of the field, but I guess it'll do. So someone just pulled up in a black van and I'm trying to skirt skirt out of here because I don't want to get kicked out again. I don't want to get in trouble because this time the gate was locked. So yeah. So now comes the dilemma of the gate again. I have to go over this. Oh my God. Okay, I did it. Okay, I gotta show you guys how hot it actually is here. I'm completely drenched from sweat, but I'm gonna pour some water on the concrete and it's gonna evaporate super fast. I 
couldn't finish the scene with the water because it's so hot that my phone on the screen it literally said that your iPhone is too hot to use so you can't use it until it cools down which I didn't even know that could happen but it happened but yeah that water was like evaporated so flipping fast it goes pretty flipping fast though do you guys remember Fred like I wonder what he's doing right now I haven't heard in him from a while is he still a thing on YouTube I wonder where he's at. Is he doing well? I hope he's doing well. But anyways, now we're at Sonic because we couldn't be patient enough to wait for snow cones, so we're gonna get slushies. So we're here, and I promised myself that this time I'm not gonna get the blue raspberry because I get that literally every single time. So I don't know. I'm kind of feeling either orange or blue coconut because I tried the ocean water in my Sonic mukbang, which if you haven't watched, you should watch it because it was good. Okay, so I got my slush. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks like, um, what are those fruits? Passion fruits. It kind of looks like a passion fruit with the nerds in there. I'm a big fan of like artificial orange. I think it tastes way better than actual orange for some reason. So I'm gonna taste test it and let you guys know. It tastes exactly like orange popsicles. Like those ones that are like two and you like pull them apart it tastes exactly like that so i'm back home i guess you could say that was a pretty successful photo shoot i think i got some good pictures i'm gonna look through them later hopefully i got a good enough shot to post on my instagram by the way you should follow me at patrick zajak it's just my name first name last name and yeah so I think this vlog is gonna come out like the day that Poland plays their first match. So fingers crossed that they do well. I think they're playing against Senegal, so I think they should be fine, but who knows? And I guess that's the vlog. Leave a like on this vlog. Make sure to leave a comment about, I don't know, photography stuff, I don't know. Um, and obviously you should subscribe because this is some quality content I'm giving you guys here. So if you want some more, you should subscribe. And yeah, peace.